and we're back for day 16 uh, let me create all the files needed for this i should have created them all together probably i don't know um, bars returns nil so far neighbors solve who knows this here we also don't need much day 16 example input example input day 16 okay feels nice okay new file uh, call it day 16 and one more call it day 16 example okay now oops now everything works okay we have everything set up more or less let's see uh, return to the advent calendar and we have one more okay so what what is this is it it doesn't look like anything yet and we almost like two thirds down packet decoder as you leave the cave and reach open waters you receive transmission from elves back on the ship. The transmission was sent using the buoyancy interchange transmission system, BITS, a method of packing numeric expressions into a binary sequence. Your submarine's computer has saved the transmission in hexadecimal you puzzle input. Okay, so I don't need to <laughs> look up what hexadecimal is, right? Just to check. Yeah. We don't need okay the first step of decoding this message is to convert the hexadecimal representation into binary each character of hexadecimal corresponds to four bits of binary data uh yes <laughs> the bits transmission contains a single packet and at its outermost layer which itself contains many other packets um the hexadecimal representation of this packet might encode a few extra zero bits in the end. These are not part of the transmission and should be ignored. Every packet begins with a standard header. Uh, the first header. Uh, the first three bits encode the packet version, and the next three bits encode the packet type ID. Okay, so we like we have hexadecimal encoding of a binary um, stream right and they don't they don't like align at the boundaries but this is okay okay yeah that's fun uh, blah 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 next three bits of version type id these two values are numbers all numbers encode any packet are presented as binary with the most significant bit first for example the version code in this binary sequence 100 represents number four yes the packet says type id4 represents a literal value okay so we are right we are writing a parser of something like i would say similar to unicode like utf8 or well, maybe no uh, like all okay all binary representations <laughs> well, look the same but yeah and and then the, the, it's container so maybe something like protobuf or something i don't know i hope yeah uh fun part start yeah uh, this is the fun part yes of course well i i suspect there is more like rules and actual complexity in the problem itself uh, below each bit labeled, uh, the three bits labeled to be are uh, the packet version 6. Okay, so this is T, uh, the packet type ID, packet is literal values. The five bits labeled A start with 1, uh, not the last group. Keep reading and contains the first four bits of the number. The five bits labeled B start with one, not the last group. Keep reading and contains four more bits of the number. Blah, blah, blah. The five bits labeled start with zero, the last group, and the packet. Um, contains the last bits of the number three, and I built zero bits at the end are extra due to the hexadecimal. Okay, yeah. So this packet represents a ritual value with binary representation, blah, 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 which is 2021 in decimal. Okay, cool. 
So basically, well, this is our example, right? And this is what we should get uh, out of it. But maybe, oh yeah, let's save it as example. Probably example one. And what we should get is 2021. Uh, we probably don't need this file. Uh, every other type of packet, any packet with uh, type ID other than four represents an operator that performs like, oh my God, fuck. Uh, <laughs> uh, some calculations, one or more sub packets contained within. So this is S expressions, right? Right now, the specific operations aren't important. Focus on parsing the hierarchy of sub packets. Operator packet contains one or more packets. Indicate which subsequent binary data represents its sub packets. Operator packet can use one of two modes indicating the type bit, the bit immediately after the packet handler. This is called the length type ID. If the length type ID is zero, the next 15 bits are numbers that represent the total length in bits of the sub packets contained by this packet. If the length type ID is one, then the next 11 bits are numbers that represent the number of sub packets immediately contained by this packet. Uh, finally, after the length type ID, bit and 15 or 11 bit fields the sub packet appear uh for example here is an operator packet hexadecimal string blah 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 with length type id zero cut contains okay so this is our example two right dev example two okay um the three bits uh packet version one uh type id6 which means it's an operator the bit label i is the length type id that's the length is 15 representing the number of bits in the sub packets the 15 bits labeled contains length 27 the 11 bits labeled a contains the first sub packet a literal value representing the number 10 how am i to understand this uh, Ah. After ring 11 16 bits of sub packet data, the total length indicated in L is reached, so the parsing of this packet stops. As another example, here is an operator packet. Um, blah, blah, blah. Did we get what this means? Um, Packet version, we don't care. Type ID, each operator. The bit labeled I. Okay, wait. Is this like A, A, A? So we ignore this, but this means this is a literal value, right? Uh, and we don't understand about the groups yet. Okay. Mm. Another example labels just for descriptions. Labels? Is an 11 bit number representing the number of sub packets. The 11 bits labeled L uh, contains the number of sub packets. Yes, three. The 11 bits label, uh, the first value. Okay, yeah, okay. Uh, and we don't yet understand how to parse literal values, right? After reading three complete sub packets, the number of sub packets indicate L is reached, and so parsing of this packet stop. For now, parse the hierarchy of the packets throughout the transmission and add up all the of the version numbers okay okay here are a few more examples of hexadecimal encoded transmissions um represent operator packet one version four which contains which contains operator packet five which contains natural value seven this packet has the version sum of 16. okay example four 16 okay um def example 5 12 right 
I should be writing tests actually. Mm. Like this. This is true to one. Okay, these are our tests, uh, which we are inserting here. These examples we don't really care. What will kind of care about decode the structure if you fix this one? Okay, that's what they get. Okay, so what I don't understand is the five bits labeled A. Oh, okay, so if uh, so, we read uh, by group of five bits, and if it starts with uh, one then it's not the last group and if it starts with zero it is last group okay and this is what we need to as a value okay three level bits is in text so we fix this one should be done okay but in only in here okay cool um sounds fun sounds fun um sounds fun i think i understand what what to do Right. Right. We are writing a parser, mm -hmm. and then because they, it has operators, we're probably writing some evaluator for this for expressions. Uh, let me get a glass of water, and we will continue. Okay, um, so I don't think there is a reason to for us to keep So the first thing that we need is stream of uh, bits, right? And we can actually use this. Um, I 
text to bits and it kind of works like this oops Right. So we're using longs to represent bit, but yeah, that's all right. Okay, so we write a function called parse and it takes input. So first what we do is get stream of bits and we get it by doing this right let's see parse example one okay we, ha we get bits now what we say mm. Another one, another function that we're probably going to need is bits to number. Um, and it takes bits and basically what it does is reduce, starts with zero and does this okay we can actually do bit it's either bit wise or bit or it's just bit or uh, and bit shift left bit shift left uh, one okay kind of and does it produce um, yeah whatever okay so um hmm. the first we need first three bits then so this is version and type right okay so we say version is going to be uh, bits to number take three bits right um, so again. and type okay type so it's bits to number uh, take three drop three bits okay um and if type is four parse literal drop six bits right otherwise parse and otherwise nil. Okay, so for now we just do this. And we need parse literal bits defn
OK, 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 OK. OK. Uh, parse literal is we take five bits, right? Um, accumulator is zero uh, bits. These bits. Um, So if it's zero, right? We, well, if it's one, we say bit or uh, bit shift left arc four, uh, bits to number. Um, take four, drop one bits, right? So we basically we recur with this and drop five bits. If it's zero, we just return this much. Mm -hmm. And parse example one. 2021, so it gets the correct number, but we need more than that type and value. Okay, uh, so type is type, version is version, kind of like this. Okay, so we got this. Now we need to learn how to parse containers, right? And containers, um, hmm, okay, let's see. Uh, containers. So containers are identified by the six bits. Um, fuck. Oh. <laughs> Somehow we need to return the amount of bits that we consumed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is unnecessary, but we have to do this, unfortunately. So basically parse, parse literal actually is going to be uh, merge with plus when we consume six, right? And parse literal like this and this is going to be len zero uh, this is how much we have consumed right and if this is one um, And what actually what we can do is say A, B, C, D, E and rest bits count P, A, it could be zero, it could be one. If it's one, we say We shift this to four, 
basically arc bit shift four bit or bits to number b c d e right this is what we do and we recall with new arc with rest and with five because we consumed five right and if it's end we still say that arc is this right but what we return is the value of arc and len of len 5 okay 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 and it took us 21 to parse 2021 20, is it correct how long is this It's 24, but there are three, three zeros, right? The three unlabeled zeros, yes. Okay, cool. Uh, so we report correct lengths. So A, B, C, D, E, F, if type equals 4, we actually parse cons G rest, otherwise, well, no, okay, yeah, 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 kind of like this, otherwise, well, let's say it's cont because there are So now there is zero. If it's zero, then we need fifteen bit number number of bits of equal zero G LAN bounded and equals one G count bounded right okay uh so len bounded is len bounded is um if it's zero length is 15 bit number so now we need to take 15 bits right let len is take bits to number take 15 from rest okay uh actually is there a split take there's take and there is some like take so function that takes and mm, while drop drop last and fast drop while split at yeah so a split at like and call okay split at actually um land beats rest split at 15 rest right land is this number land beats okay so now 
we know how much we want um So we kind of write a loop, right? Consumed and this is how much we have left rest is going to be rest all right and arc is going to be this if there is not much left we return version version type type so len is going to be plus seven seven for this 15 for this right and len and value is going to be arc So we parse and we recur with minus left land parsed, right? Rest is drop land parsed from rest and contract parsed. Is this fair enough? Okay, so this is land bounded, and land bounded is kind of we we can parse this three or so example two, right? Mm -hmm. uh, example two doesn't work somewhere. A uh, bit ops cast leads to number, no source file. Oh, because parse is, uh, fuck, parse doesn't take, it takes string. Uh, we don't want it to take string, actually. We want it to take bits. Uh, 
and this one hmm Let's call it parse bits and take bits and just normal parse is going to be calling it, right? And here we need parse bits, okay? Okay, so now we have uh, version one, type six, value, so it's value 10 and then value 20, right? Yes, value 10 and 20 value. Uh, think numbers of packets. Okay, so and in this case we have count bounded kind of. Uh, uh, first it takes 11 bits, not 18, right? Rest uh, version type len yes um ah uh, fuck consumed is zero well actually we can start with right plus seven eleven right already do we need this len anywhere well let's call it actually count because what it is right left count and then what the fuck Okay, so we parse uh, we deck left v plus len len parsed It just happened. Somebody brought a hundred people. Or what? Why? Why don't I see this star in stats? Uh, but anyways, yeah. Thank you for reading me. Even though it looks like spam, to be honest. Okay, let's see. Uh, left len rest arc should be okay, right? And if we take example three, let's see if we can parse it. And we have value one 
value 2 and value 3, right? Looks correct. Looks, looks correct. Okay, now, yeah, my count, view count updated. I can see there's like 60 new people. Yay! Uh, yeah, we're solving the advent of code in Clojure. So, welcome, everybody. And we have almost solved today's task. Um, at least the first part of it. Now, the, to actually solve it, what we need is for now, positive hierarchy of packets around the transmission and up all of the version numbers. Okay, add up all of the version numbers. So basically, what we do is let Parsed is parse input, right? Sum is going to be parsed uh, sequential. Oh, what we actually need here is value and version. Value reduce plus version reduce sum. No, 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 no. Like this. Well, we can actually call it some versions, right? Okay, let's uh, test. True, true, true. What the fuck? Why is this true? What? Ah, true, it means. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, I am stupid because I'm checking. Uh, something is wrong here. So this is false now. This is false. Okay, why it's false? Sixteen equals sixteen. Okay, now it's true. What, what the fuck was that? Okay, we made all of the. This is our input. Finally, right? Uh, part one. Um, input. Boom. Okay, does it work? Because. Boom, 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 boom. No, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I implemented in my plugin like a button to copy relation result to the buffer. Tell us about myself, yourself, Nikki. I am programmer. I program in Clojure. And I'm enjoying Advent of Code so far. It's been very fun. Um, now that you have your structure, okay, we are moving to part two. Part one was correct. Uh, you can calculate the value of the expression. It represents literal values, represents single numbers described above. The remaining type IDs are more interesting. The packets with type ID zero are sum. They put with uh, 
type it one a product uh, minimal maximal greater than the value is one if the value of the first subpackage is value second subpackage is why the value is zero these packets always have exactly two sub packets okay uh greater than less than equals to okay uh, seems straightforward enough let's uh let's write a eval function right uh what we need is uh we don't care we need type and we need value right type value uh cond cond p type actually mm -hmm. zero is some okay reduce plus uh value well actually we are going to use transduce um map eval right same with product um minimum maximum two is minimum three is maximum Four is literal value. Five is greater than. Six, uh, if I remember, is less than, and seven is equals. Okay. And part two is going to be eval parse input, right? Right. Okay. Example one. Um, C B blah blah blah. Right. Let's actually copy all of them here. So this must be three, this must be fifty four, seven, nine, one, zero, zero, one. Okay, so this is what we are up against. I did this. Let's see, true, true, uh, wrong amount, true, 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 then wrong amount, zero. X form F call. Okay, so we need uh, Kind of like this, right? True, okay, so true, 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 okay. It looks like we we're gonna get it right. 
and that's the right answer. Yay! Okay, yeah, this was not hard, no algorithmic complexity, but it was super fun, right? I I like writing parsers, why not? And working with bits was also fun. Uh, let me go to the main function here and make sure we include all the days. Script run 2021. Let's make sure it works. Uh -huh. We have a warning actually, wow. It's the line 100 here somewhere uh, len len parsed I am pretty sure something like this should solve this problem uh, and we also need uh, require closure exclude a while I think If I do this now, it doesn't complain anymore, right? Right. Yeah, cool. Uh, cool, 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 cool. I think that will be all. Let me commit it and we will be done here. 2021, day 16. Boom. And that concludes everything for today. We are approaching 2018 pretty fast, right? We're approaching it. So we solved 18. So we need two tasks and we will be on par with 2018 and then we'll probably surpass it. Uh, Timur has joined and Andre I don't think was here. I'm still the last, even though uh, I should start solving this earlier in the morning, probably. Maybe it's already too late, but anyways. Uh, thanks for participating, guys, and thanks for watching. Uh, this will be all for today. Bye-bye.